think physics could be used sometimes to evaluate a miracle uh, in the sense of excluding natural causes. Um, so, of course, uh, there's a very famous shrine in, in um, Europe called uh, Lourdes. And um, if, if, there is, um, a, if there is a belief of a miracle there, they'll ask doctors to see if natural causes can explain the miracle. So I think so sometimes science in general could be used to, um, to exclude natural causes. Um, at least in theory, that's, that's one way in which um, science can work. But of course, a miracle is by its nature exceptional. So where science deals with regularities, so most of the time, science has very little to say about miracles um, because it deals with the majority of things that happen for the most part. The philosopher Aristotle said, what is natural is what happens for the most part or what happens mostly. He didn't exclude exceptions. Um, by and large, physics studies what is natural, not what is supernatural. So, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily exclude those things either. But it's a, it's a philosophical issue, not principally a scientific issue. I believe in a dialogue of science and religion. I don't believe in a mixing. I think it's a, it's a lot of easy, or dangerous mixing of, of fields. And um, uh, there's a lot of bad stuff written in science and religion. So um, uh, I don't like it. Uh, I can't help it. I mean, these books will continue to be written and they will continue to be popular for the same reason that science religion is popular generally. People want to know the answers to the big questions. Um, uh, but I think the, the, main way of, um, uh, the main way of countering this is giving better training in philosophy and in history. Um, respectful dialogue is good, but a mixing is often bad. Uh, I would, uh, you know, it often causes a lot of confusion. <laughs>